It's Femac on West Side, and today I'm joined by a very, very special guest. Hey. Looking drippy as hell. I mean, the diamonds are dancing. She's, she's, she's <laughs> acting like, like, look at her shirt. Like, it's going crazy. This ain't, this ain't real diamonds, though. Shout out to but, Noki. But, but you're still shining. Thank though. you. We're shining together, man. We're shining together. Yeah. How are you, Cash Page? I'm, I'm doing amazing. Um, It's my last day in London. I'm pretty sad about it. Oh. How have you found the experience though? Like, it's your first time? Yeah, it's my first time. The experience has been crazy. Right. Like, super crazy. I mean, we've got to talk about wireless. <laughs> prior to that, a couple of days ago, you lost your voice. Mm-hmm. How did you get your voice back, Cash? Um, I would say really just resting. I drank a lot of tea, like hot lemon water yesterday too. Mm-hmm. And then I got an IV drip. And I feel like the IV drip kind of like just hydrated me, what I needed. Yeah. And I didn't talk the whole day. The whole I, day? I just sat in the, um, in the room. What? What? In my yourself? hotel room, yeah. Oh my gosh. What was that like? You just sound so blase. <laughs> I live alone, so like, okay. yeah, it's like I'm used to like, you know, sitting in silence if I'm not going to talk to myself. Yeah. No, that's, I respect that though. Sometimes you do need to like mm-hmm. quiet down and life forces you to quiet down. So uh, your wireless performance was absolutely epic. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I want to talk about when you first got in your dressing room um, and your rider. What is on your rider? Like what are you eating? What are you drinking before um, a show? I'm for sure drinking tea, water, cranberry juice. Mm. Um, I feel like on my rider, it's always gonna be something spicy. As you see, chips and salsa, yeah. for sure. Like, I like Spanish food. Um, what else? Chicken. Chicken. Has to be chicken, chips, fruits. Okay. Like, it's just, a, it's just a mix of a lot of different things. It sounds really balanced, though. I like that. Yeah, though. and then like socks, towels. Yeah. Like Socks, wait, did you say socks? Yeah. Why, why yeah. socks, though? Well, like, Riley kind of put me on to that. It's kind of like, you just need clean socks all the time. Okay. Like, you never know. Yeah. No, yeah. shout out to Riley. That's game. Because it's true. You actually never know when your socks can get messed up. Exactly. How do you like your chicken, though? The or chicken I had Nando's. It was crazy. I was going to ask you. What was your Nando's meal cash? Extra hot peri-peri chicken. Did you like it? It was crazy. I liked it a lot. Okay. And then I had the spicy rice. And I had some with the long stem broccoli. Okay. That's different. Usually people get, like, the peri chips. Okay. You know. See, I like fries, but I feel like with baked chicken nowadays, mm. I like to eat it with rice. Okay. Rice or like some type of vegetable. Mm. It sounds like you're really healthy and like, you know, mm. health as well. I choose. <laughs> <laughs> I choose what I am when I'm not. What do you like to eat? Um, I like, basically, I took an intolerance test mm-hmm. a couple of months ago and I'm intolerant to a lot of food, um, like chicken chips mm-hmm. i'm intolerant to chocolate as well so i'm just finding different alternatives but those are like the food that i like okay like plantain have you ever tried plantain cash? see i'm allergic to bananas no oh, man. no see but I'll, I'll choose festival over plantains okay uh, uh, but i get it. if i if i ate bananas i would eat plantains though. Right. but i like curry chicken i like rice and peas mm. Are like, I'm about to get that right now. Swear. Yeah. Are you Caribbean? No, I'm, I'm just black. Okay. Oh my gosh, because you know your Caribbean feel like the rice and he's the curry okay. going. On. I, you know, I know the culture and I'm still educating myself on it, but you yeah. know, some things. No, you know. I love that. She knows her things. She knows her things. Um, so prior to actually getting on the wireless stage, obviously that's a crazy crowd. What is Cash Page's like pre-show ritual? Like, are you having a nervous poo? Are you having a shot? Are you praying? What are you mm-hmm. doing, Cash? I feel like for sure eager probably irritated mm. to be honest with you because i'm just like i'm just like trying to make sure everything is going right i'm yeah. just like bro is the visuals on is the <laughs> why is like because your thing is like you'll see after an artist is set mm. how it's like a break time so then everybody starts to walk off yeah mind you i've never been to london so I'm, people keep walking like they're walking off right now i'm like dang you know like turn on jazz's mic i'm yeah. like jazz needs to tell everybody come back like and, you know riley's like relax like you're good like mm. everybody like, this always happens like trust me whenever she says your name and this is that like everybody's gonna come back over here they but will. i'm so in my head like bro like no they're leaving <laughs> they're going to another side <laughs> you know what i'm saying and I was just like just super eager to just get it like get it ready mm-hmm. and then Jazz eventually her mic got turned on everything got dialed in and she was like wireless fest what we doing what we doing if you're ready for cash page I need y'all to come on inside she's making everybody like from like just you know just they just start coming in yeah and then she started playing like paper planes she played uh party in the USA and went Ooh. up Banger. Yeah, yeah, she was what? going crazy. Oh like everybody gosh. was just going nuts, and yeah. like that's what we like to play. We like to throw like, like superstar Lupe Fiasco. If you are what, what you say, say. but that thing's gonna that's gonna make everybody mm-hmm. sing because we want everybody feel good about themselves. Mm-hmm. 
So it's like we choose different songs to play everywhere we go. That is so good that you, yeah. you and your team are like so detailed with it because things like that really do matter. Exactly. If I'm here in Party and I'm running to the stage. Exactly. Miley Cyrus, are you mad? But yeah. Exactly. And it's like you're with your friends, it's, you're at a festival, like yeah. that song's going to hit you like no other. It's kind of like if you hear collard green schoolboy q or whatever yeah just like she got me prepared for that and yeah. you know it's kind of just wild because i usually can't hear through my in-ears but even to hear like how loud they were saying my name yeah. when she was like saying like i need y'all to say this is it like it was crazy i was like yo like, i think my stomach dropped because i'm like this is wild yeah and don't get me wrong i've been at you know like major festivals and it's like rolling loud and stuff mm. but i think overseas for me hit differently because it's like oh wow like People they really, to yeah, music. like they really listen to my music or they're they're taking the time out to come over here and get hip to who I am. Yeah, exactly. And I definitely feel like you've done an incredible job. I'm pretty sure when you're on the stage, it seems so surreal hearing people like, do you get emotional? Um, I'm, uh, I would say it depends. Mm. Kind of not really. I try not to show my emotions like that. Yeah. I am a simp though. But like afterwards it hits me, but nothing really hits me yet. But like I have to have people around me that like let me know, but I'm so like on to the next in my mind. I'm just like, oh, we gotta go hard, we gotta go hard, we gotta go hard. Yeah. Where it's like I don't actually sit down and be like, man, like we really that just, yeah, like we really just did this. I feel like it is important though to you know do sit in, sit to, in the moments, yeah, yeah, and reflect as well. Be like, cause you really killed it. Like no, watching the you. visuals that you uploaded on your Insta, I was like, damn, like this is. Thank you. It happened for me last night. It yeah. happened to me last night because. I never watched my performance videos. Ever? No. Nah. It was my first time ever watching like, my performance video fully through without mm. turning it off or, or pausing. Or out, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, you really did a great job. Because I'm my biggest critic. And I'll be like, oh, you messed up on that note or this, mm. this, that. But it's like, you can't expect yourself to sing perfect all, all the, the time. time. It's not yeah, like, even my voice cracked. And, I, and for me to even post my voice cracking, was insane for me to even do because I'll be I want to seem so perfect sometimes where I'm like oh, I don't want them to hear that side yeah. but it's like you have to show people your imper imperfections That's it's not true. imperfections it's natural exactly like you're not going to be mm -hmm. you know on 100. your yeah you're not gonna be 100 all the time and it's like that's a normal human being yeah and I feel like once I actually sat down and learned that about myself and I'm still learning that about myself I'm just like wow bro like people really mess with you you need to mess with you you, you, I need to mess with myself how these people mess with me. Oh, I need to show the myself the same love, you know? That's the and I feel like I'm just never, I'm just so hard on trying to be better every single day mm -hmm. where it's just like I beat myself up too much. No, but it, it's normal to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Obviously, what you're doing is, it's incredible. Not, the average person can't be a superstar. The average person can't <laughs> go on a stage like that and just shell it and just, do you know what I mean? So you're, you're doing amazing. And um, we're no stranger over here in the UK to you and your music because you collaborated with two UK artists. Scribs Riley and Ray Black, both mm -hmm. incredible collabs. How did those yeah. connections come about? Well, um, they both reached out, and I kind of just loved the songs. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And uh, even bringing Scribs Riley out, that was exciting. It was his first show ever. He was so nervous. Oh my God, this guy's written for like incredible artists, and he was nervous for when. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, he's like, it's my first show. I was like, wow. what is your first show? Yeah. But it was like really exciting to see because the girls are going crazy. Like they're you like pulling, like <laughs> tugging on like his clothes, his face and stuff. And like, I'm just looking at him and I'm laughing because he's just kind of like, he's laughing too, but you can tell he's feeling it. He's like, oh my oh. God, like, wow, this is happening. Yeah. For it to be his first show, mm -hmm. I was clowning him. Oh. I was clowning him. I was like, you lit, you <laughs> lit. <laughs> you both are lit, man. And um, I want to take it back to when I first discovered you. I need to shout out my brother, Roman. He put me on to love hey. songs and I was like yo who is this girl where she come from and why is her music so good thank you you started a couple of years ago on SoundCloud mm -hmm. that era was so different so what, different what was inspiring Cash Page back then though for sure SZA Erica Badu mm. I feel like I got the beat from YouTube right and I remember listening to Doja Cat's uh, version uh, No Police yeah and I was like really into covers at the time too I was like, man, like, what if I recreated this song but in my own, like, spin? Yeah. And I feel like it just kind of just, like, was that wave? I feel like everybody wants to be a loner. Yeah, like, emo. Right? Yeah, emo. <laughs> I feel like that's the time where everybody was kind of just, like, too cool for school. Mm -hmm. Like, zoomies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that was for sure the vibe. And for you sure definitely fit right in there. <laughs> um, and obviously, like, a lot of things have changed since then. The way mm -hmm. we consume music you know, how quickly it goes. Yeah, um, it's so it's so weird. It is. How was that for you as an artist, though? 
I don't, I try not to let it phase me because I got this good advice from like seeing one of Russ's videos. He was kind of just like, anything you put out is a success. Mm -hmm. No matter if it goes number one or whatever it does, just because you made the song and you love it and you were able to put it out, that's a huge success. And you should be proud of yourself for that. But when you get in the industry, you start to soak up so many different morals and values of the industry. Like, dang, I ain't had these first week sales or I ain't go number one or it's not really doing what I thought it would do. You know what I'm saying? I thought this was going to be the one. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it is the one yeah. you know what i'm saying like patience is virtue you know what i'm saying like patience is key yeah and i feel as if like when you get in it you don't really care about patience anymore right. you're kind of just like i want it now because you see other people around you sometimes too that are going up and it's just like just wait your turn it's true you know it's, just wait it's your really turn. that simple mm -hmm. when you say it obviously though like living it must be so different yeah it's it for sure it's, it's more you know it's easier to say than to do yeah you know because it's like you get in your head a lot you're mm -hmm. just like dang like when is it gonna hit? Yeah. And it's just like, dude, it's hitting every day. You're just every not, day. you're not, you're just not seeing it. In your mind, you're not seeing it, mm -hmm. but everybody else around you seeing it. How do you like keep that composure? Because the way you're mm -hmm. saying it, it's like you practice it often, so you have kind of got it down in the bag. But I feel like I'm the type of person where it's kind of just like I need to just start really soaking like in everything, mm -hmm. like really just relaxing and kind of just like letting it be known. You're okay. You're good. <laughs> yeah, like you're good, bro. You're good, man. Maybe try journaling. I don't know. I I tried this thing where um, whenever I I feel grateful for something, like mm -hmm. I do like a voice note on my phone and I just talk about my day, That's basically fire. talking to myself, and then I just store it on my phone. That's really fire. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Just like little things. Do you know what yeah, I mean? cause I feel like I'll I'll type stuff in my notes or like write it down, but I feel like sometimes it doesn't hit me the same. It doesn't hit. Try yeah. that. It might, it might hit with that. Yeah, because yeah. you're, you're talking about it. It's kind of like you're talking to somebody. Exactly. I feel like when you when you actually get to express mm -hmm. how you feel to people, it resonates different because mm -hmm. you, now you're getting a whole different input and a whole, you know, Big advice. Facts. Big facts. And you're just doing it to yourself. So, you know, I mean, who better? Um, I feel like we're entering this new cash page era with these new singles you just released. Um, um, your track with Lil TJ, mm -hmm. 24 Hours. The song's giving me like grown, sexy, but toxic. <laughs> and you definitely make the perfect music. But when you miss your ex, you just want to text him or call him. Yeah, her. it's just like, what you want? <laughs> yeah. Like, you up? <laughs> That's the kind of music you make. You up text music, Cash. But um, it's really relatable. And um, I just want to know what was the studio session like? Um, So I had sent them over that, uh, that session mm -hmm. for him to just hop on because... We just got off tour together, like around that time, and they were kind of just like, "Why don't you just put little TJ on the song?" Like I feel like he'll, you know, like hit that. Hook. Yeah. I was like, "All right, cool." So I sent it to him, and I sent it to him. He literally sent it back the next day. Swear down. Yeah, it was crazy, and I was like getting an IV drip as usual. <laughs> I'm getting an IV drip, and I was like, "Bro, this is crazy." But I almost like took the needle on my arm. Oh no! I was like so turned. Yeah. It was. It was. It was a vibe. Yeah. No, you both really have good chemistry on that song even the visuals as well oh the visuals fine crazy do you know what it reminds me of you know back in the day like when visuals actually used to matter uh -huh. and the likes of missy elliott Ludacris, like were actually putting a lot of work in their visuals mm -hmm. that's the kind of feeling i was getting For real? yeah damn thank what, you like what music videos were you watching back then that really mm. caught your eye sean kingston beautiful girls that was a good one that was um, a good one <laughs> billionaire travis uh travis mccoy yeah. and uh bruno mars uh damn all american rejects too mm. yeah like, i was watching some crazy stuff i used to watch anything like i have a nirvana tattoo on my leg i have flatbush zombies on my leg like so i kind of just went into every room yeah and, like i don't know everything that's good though because then it shows that you got range in your taste and it's reflected on your music. Yeah. Shooting the visuals, mm -hmm. what was that experience like? The shooting the visuals was fun mm -hmm. because it's like, like I just now start really tapping it into like, cause you know, like, I'm a tomboy. So it's just like, people are like, oh, like you're pretty. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I'm like, oh, you. you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I'm like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, no, like, I'm a tomboy. Yeah, like, I'm, like I'm a tomboy. And they're just like, okay, well, we're about to dress you up and we're about to put you, like, makeup on you. This is that. I'm just like, okay. Yeah. So I started letting them do that. And it was like, I actually started to feel really good with myself. I'm like, damn, like, I look like a supermodel. Like, yeah. dang, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And they have these, like, comparisons, of course. Like, they're like, oh, Naomi Campbell. And I just be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Naomi Campbell is gorgeous. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, no, the middle part bust down was, it was giving Naomi though. I'm not going to lie to thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, man, I feel like, it's just wild mm -hmm. tapping into visuals and actually seeing yourself as a as a character almost right it's, it's great though Nah, thank you thank you yeah because I, I feel like it's really exciting too because it's like 
We get to try on new clothes, like, you don't know, the stylists be going crazy. Yeah. And it's like, you don't really know what to expect. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's what makes the best part about it, because it can go either way during the shoot. Right. Well, the result, 10 out of 10. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. it was really fun, it was really fun. I feel like you've got something planned for the coming year. You've just come off tour, doing all these shows, left, right and center, in different countries. <laughs> What's next for Cash Page? Um, a single called The Fall Off, a project called The Fall Off, and two more singles. Okay. Yeah. The fool off. Why the name? Um, because I feel like for two years I didn't drop music, right? Mm. Of course I was like other people's projects and still doing, you know, stuff that I did, but mm. you see these comments like, Oh, you fell off or this, this, that. Mm. And it's like sometimes it, it, it used to mess with me. Well I'd be like, I didn't fall off, you know I'm what I'm saying? Here. Like, yeah, like you just not paying attention to everything I got going on. Mm-hmm. And I have to teach myself like people are gonna talk about you to the day you die. So why don't you use that to amp you up? Yeah. And you fell off, okay, then come back harder than ever since you fell off. Ooh. So I just like used that title and was just like, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what it is. For oh, real, for real. Buzz, you're not playing. I'm, I'm not like... playing. This is gonna be the craziest project ever. Aye, Shout Craig out to Brent Fires too, because his project's insane. But oh, yeah. But she's she's coming. <laughs> yeah, you, gotta, you gotta rep your own thing. Yeah, but I'm excited for your project no, thank the fall you. off cash page. You're definitely one of a kind and thank you. You're still so very young. You still got lots more to, to achieve, but for you right now, are you doing everything that you've wanted to do? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I, I am, and I feel as if like I'm getting um, hip to things that I've never even thought I would be doing. Mm, that's exciting. Yeah, that's, that's like, exciting. Oh, thank you so much for joining nah, me, thank Cash you. Page, man. Nah, thank you so much for having me. You're shelling it, man. You're the GOAT. Oh, I'm the you're the goat. There you go. We're the goat. <laughs> We're, the, We're goat. the goats. We're the goats. I love Bad. that. But thank you so much, man. No, I do. Thank you. <laughs>